All right, to remove the flat wheel, we're gonna need one of these tire sockets. Wait, where am I? Right there. See how it looks. This from Mac is the E12 for the 4 4.0 engine. Alright, to remove that um, valve cover gasket, valve cover, you're gonna need an 8 millimeter. Uh, to remove the exhaust, it's gonna be 13 millimeters. It's gonna be six bolts. It's been opening this, look what we found. Okay. Pues no, no mucho. Caso me dice cuál era tu ritual. Ese que está ahí, ese, por favor. See the guy? The guy is broken. See the chain? Can't see inside there. So that's what went wrong. The guy came off, broke. Voila. Okay, now to release the camshaft, the main bolt is gonna be a 19 millimeters. So now pay attention. Facing the engine or your left camshaft, which is the side of the uh, driver's side, you're gonna get him loose like, like you normal do to the left, which is counterclockwise. It's gonna get loose to the left. The one in the back is gonna get loose like if you're tying it. So the one on the, on the right head, which is the passenger side, this one right here, the main bolt on the camshaft is gonna get loose clockwise to the right so this one goes loose to the left that one goes to the right so this one is gonna go this way the one on the other side is gonna go this way I'll show you right now with this one you have the gun the gun on normal position where you get them loose so it's gonna spin left this is out already and then the other one is gonna go the other way the one on this side is gonna go loose like if you get them tight, like you tighten it. So it's gonna get loose, it's the positive. So it's gonna get loose going towards the the clockwise. So it's gonna go this way. To get loose, the one in front on the on the driver's side goes this way, the other way goes this way. So normal, getting loose normal on the one on the passenger side, which is on the back, it's it's clockwise. It's already out. So to get this line loose, remember the one in the back is going clockwise, and the one in front is counterclockwise.
right, to remove the timing chain tensioner, we're gonna need a huge one, one inch to one sixteen. Okay, now right in the front of the head is two bolts. It's gonna be this one, it's like a little star. It says E12. This is one and two. Okay, next one is gonna be this one. This one is actually for the head bolts. It's a Torx, Torx T55, T55. This is for the main head bolts. Clean the other ones because they're full of oil and all this shit. See, that's why we're gonna do your oil change in time. Now that the head bolts are loose, we can use the impact so we can remove the head bolts. Okay, now we only have one more step that's removing the little bolt right here. For that one, we need the T30. T30. I know, it's like a little star again. Now, at this point, we're ready to remove the head. Now it's the same way on this side. First start removing the tensioner. Here one one sixteen. Always replace this from the dealer. Never buy an aftermarket, only dealer. Okay, Chucho, you're opening the oven.
So when we went down on this one, it was the tensioners. Look, they're all broken. That's a common problem with the 4.0. Or well, we're gonna go on a full rebuild. See, the other one is broken, the metal one. These are the heads. There's one, there's the other one. So it's gonna go center to clean, take them apart, do the bow job, resurface, on. Meanwhile, take this apart so I can rebuild it. Stay tuned.